Remember the discovery of Proxima b, an Earth-like exoplanet in the habitable zone of the nearest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri. Well, now it's your chance to get involved with finding out what that newly revealed world and potentially others nearby it are actually like. This follow-up campaign to Pale Red Dot, the one which found Proxima b, is called Red Dots, and you can contribute to the research. The data will be made available almost as soon as it comes in, so you can play around with it. Also, if you've got your own telescope, you can add your own data as well, which will be used in the research. And if either of those aren't your cup of tea, well, you can simply follow the science as it happens. So what will the Red Dots campaign actually do? Well, like Pale Red Dot, it will measure the spectrum of light emitted from Proxima Centauri. And using that, work out the line of sight velocity of the star relative to us via the Doppler effect. Any wobbles in that velocity are the telltale signature of a planet, exactly how Proxima b was detected. Red Dots will take these measurements over 90 consecutive nights, slightly longer than the original campaign's 60, and it will combine these with measurements of the star's brightness taken from telescopes around the world. The reason to do this is it allows you to remove some spurious effects due to significant amounts of flaring and variability, which are associated with red dwarf stars. So what do they hope to find out? Well, firstly, they'll be looking to see if Proxima b is still there, or whether, in fact, it's disappeared. Now, that latter possibility is unlikely. They've estimated that the detected signal so far is a statistical fluke, only one in at least 14 million. But of course, that's not zero, so we do have to check it out. But if the Proxima b signal is seen again, then that allows us to find out more about our closest exoplanet. In particular, nailing down its properties. Because with the data we have so far, there's still some uncertainty in the measurements that we can actually make. Well, we know the planet's 11.2 day orbital period pretty well, down to 0.01%, there's still a 15% uncertainty in the amplitude of the star's wobbles because of the presence of the planet. That affects our uncertainty in our measurements of the planet's mass. Now, as I've mentioned before, with the radial velocity technique, you can't measure the true mass because of orientational effects. You can only measure the minimum mass which is 1.3 times that of the Earth. Though, in all likelihood, there's a 90% chance that Proxima b wouldn't be more than three times Earth's mass. More of the same sort of data won't actually help you nail down that true mass. For that, you'd need a much bigger telescope or completely different methods. But it will allow us to reduce that 15% uncertainty in the star's wobble, and therefore also our minimum mass estimate. And we also don't know very much about the shape of Proxima b's orbit. It could be anything from being a perfect circle to being slightly more elliptical than Pluto's orbit around the Sun. More data will help work out which case it actually is. Beyond just Proxima b, though, we think there could be other planets lurking around our nearest neighbour star. The 2016 data showed a downward trend in the relative velocity. And from past and recent measurements, we know that trend can't go on forever and could, in fact, be evidence of another planet far outside of the habitable region with an orbital period of somewhere between 50 and 200 days. There's also some tentative evidence for additional planets in so-called warm and hot orbits. The Red Dots campaign could reveal the nature of these signals and whether they are in fact planets. But Red Dots won't just tell us more about the Proxima Centauri system. It's part of a bigger effort to understand planets around nearby red dwarf stars, by far the most common type of star. 
it's going to observe two additional red dwarfs. Namely, Barnard Star, an incredibly quickly rotating red dwarf six light years away from us, and Ross 154, a highly active red dwarf, far more so than Proxima, within 10 light years of us. Finding planets around these two stars will be incredibly difficult, far more so than with Proxima. But doing so will start to tell us far more about our neighbourhood in the Milky Way galaxy. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please do check out Red Dots, the link is in the description, or find out more about Proxima b and the effort to find planets around red dwarf stars. There are videos over there. And of course, you can like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you.